Hey guys, DM Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy. We're going to start this one off with a letter from our brother, Luigi Mario. So I mentioned before that one of the stars that I hadn't finished was one of the original terraces. That's actually the Terrace Terrace. Sorry, I meant to say dome, not terrace. I'm getting my, my words confused. That never happens. That's what happens when you get old. You just forget what things mean and how you say them. Starting to go crazy. So, we have a Luigi star. That is actually going to be the final Honey Hive star. Hopefully you guys have an idea of where he might be. That picture, pretty tricky. I don't know if I actually need B Mario or not, but we're kind of running out of opportunities to use him. So I may just for the kicks and giggles. Also another time to enjoy this theme. It's one of the better ones in the game. One of my favorites. It's kind of funky, just like me when I don't shower often enough. So there we go. We got our B Mario power up. Just waiting. Thank you. So unfortunately, because we are doing the hidden star in the original first star of Honey Hive, the game feels obligated to still give us all the tutorial shtick that we don't need anymore, because we are professionals at this game at this point, depending upon who you ask. Professional embarrassments, maybe. All right. I'm going to try to swing up here. I don't think I can get up there with this. Nope, just kidding. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that have been fun, you know? Wouldn't that have been just nice? Put a bow on it. That's, uh, that's a lot to ask. But it does appear as though Luigi may be back here. I don't know if I can get up here from here. I might have to use the other direction to ascend. I'm gonna try not to touch the water. It is a death sentence. Might actually have to touch the water. <laughs> Apparently, B Mario trying to use it in this mission was uh, poorly thought out. As is most things. As are most things. That's good English, right? Alright, so, if you remember, Luigi was hugging a tree somewhere. So, was he here? Was he behind this tree? Oh, I didn't mean to go in this pipe. I would like to re enter this pipe immediately. Lay some pipe. Okay. Doesn't appear Luigi's over here. So, my memory has forsaken me, that's cool. It appears as though the game wants to give me one more shot at uh, the vine mechanic, which is not there anymore. Great. Okay. This is a learning experience for me. Okay. Hopefully you guys are enjoying yourselves as much as I'm enjoying this game. The what's left of it at least. If you are enjoying yourselves enough and you would love to go ahead and toss a like on this channel, that would be amazing. Commenting additionally would be great. Subscribing even better. As the number grows, as the channel grows, as the excitement and enjoyment grows, I hope to share more with all of you. I have a lot of big ideas coming up as I spin in circles. I hopefully I'll learn why that happens or get that corrected someday. This will probably be one of the last times that I play Super Mario Galaxy in general, just because I did play it casually all the way through about a year ago, and I'm playing it now, so I can run up this slope as B-Mario. That's nice. Can I get up here? Uh, I feel like I wasn't supposed to be able to do that. I kind of cheesed that a little bit. I'm starting to think that maybe Luigi's up here. I don't know if I can butt stop with B Mario. I can. Okay. So maybe we just have a little bit of an adventure. Wouldn't make one want to make a wrong move. Might sting us. But as you guys saw, just there out of frame is our very green sibling. Hello, Luigi. How are you? We'll knock him off the tree, have a little conversation. Yeah. 
Seems like Luigi has many fears. He has a fear of bugs. I'm sure many people have a fear of bugs. What are you guys afraid of? You afraid of... I think I asked this already, but I'll ask it again. Are you afraid of bees? Bears? Beets? Stargate? Not entirely sure, but I believe that's actually one of the... Last of the Luigi missions. I could be wrong, but hey. So we'll go ahead and hold off. So the terrace is now complete. Now I can say that we are 60% of the way through the game. If you take a look at the map, the fountain, the terrace, the kitchen, that's that's uh, some completion right there. You're welcome. Every time we play, we like to make sure that we get everybody to completion. It's good for your health. Wouldn't want to leave any loose ends. So, I'm going to pop back into the bedroom. I don't know if there's any more of this that I can do yet. Those are comets. There's, there are more comets, as you saw in the last one. There is a Daredevil comet that I can do in Gusty Garden, but apparently it does not want me to do that right now. So that's pretty rude. Okay. Once again, the zoom out is never going to stop being amazing and making my brain hurt. That's not too tough to do, though. We're actually going to grab the flying power up and we're going to head up top. Going to go to the the old garden. That seems like the one that we have made the least progress on. So we're going to head our all the way up here to, to New York City. That's fun. All right. I actually didn't expect to land on that in one try. So that kind of blew my mind that I did that. All right. So these ones all have comments. Okay. Hopefully I don't run out of things to do. I'm just kind of wandering around like a goober right now because I thought I knew what order I wanted to do stuff, but the comets will only pop up after you get certain stars accomplished. So we're going to check out the engine room real quick and see if there's a normal star to do. That would be nice. Then I'll have to do less running around as much as I enjoy some little track and field, running around simulator is not what I envision myself doing today. So apologies for that. Let's check and see if there's any normal stars here. I don't think so. Okay. Let's go check out our list. That's kind of the, the way that this game goes sometimes. Like when you get a certain amount of progress, the game... Oh. Just kidding. Thanks for that game. I actually was not trying to do that. I would like to stay down. Don't need your safety net. All right. So I I haven't used this yet. I just want to show it off really quick, I guess, now that I'm having trouble getting these gosh dang comets to trigger. So we have the ability for 20 star bits to have this goofy Luma with his cow lick to move one of the prankster comets. I actually do need the daredevil. Okay, this is good. This is this is good. Sometimes you have to trigger it in a way that's kind of annoying. So we will finish up that gusty garden comet. We have the daredevil comet with one of the boss fights. If you guys remember that one, it's a butt stomping good time. Hopefully you won't have to burrow too hard into your memory to figure out which one it was. This one kind of throws a bit of a wrench into the plans, but that's okay. One of the few remaining regular comments that we have to do, not those nasty purple ones. So here we go. The Daredevil Comet in the flesh. If you guys remember this, Daredevil Comet's the ones where we only have one HP. It's kind of weird that it just does kind of the normal music to introduce the comet, where I figured it would be more like intense, like it is now. Like the music now, the dire, like, oh, hey, boss fight music, you know? So here we are. We have one HP to take down Major Burrow. That's all that you get. If you remember this one. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Oh. <laughs> well, so much for that. 
That was a quick one. We'll try that again. Music got all confused. So yeah, if you remember, this is Major Burrow. He's trying to assault one of our rabbit friends, which I, you know, honestly, at this uh, at this juncture and the way that they treated me on the one with the uh, with the the snow and the snowman and then the fireballs and the trying to uncover it, I wouldn't have been super upset if I would have let Major Burrow just have a couple quick whacks at him. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> We're doing great, everybody. This is high quality content. You're getting the best that D Mike Industries has to offer. All right. Third time's a charm, I hope. This boss fight is not particularly too tough, but that's also coming from somebody who's being a complete ding dong about it. I really enjoy that sound effect. All right, so we're gonna run away. Oh, oh boy. Please stay away from me. Come back. All right, so we did clip just the very edge of his behind. That's not, that's not very kind of Mario to do that. All right, so we're just gonna try to stay away from him. I got two hits and I don't want to do this a third time. Oh boy. Okay. So he's gonna go back in. I think we have to do it again. Oh boy. <laughs> he's a little quick. Could have long jumped. Could have long jumped. I guess this is the universe trying to basically tell me that they don't want me to do shortened episodes ever again. Couldn't help it though. The last, the last set of stars were really quick. Come on, buddy. Come on out. There he is. There's Puxatawny Phil. Do you believe in that? Groundhog Day. Superstitions are fun if you understand that they are meant to be silly and fun, but there are some people who are very superstitious and believe in fun, very believable, and very deterministic things like astrology. Nothing wrong with, you know, having a little bit of celestial intervention in your life, if that's what you're into. Alright, so here we go. Third hit. Hopefully we don't screw this up this time. This boss fight's not particularly fun or interesting. Oh, okay. I'm getting a little, a little scared here. Hopefully he stays away. Oh boy. All right. See if we can learn from our mistakes. Oh boy. Ah. Things are getting a little hairy. I don't remember how many times I have to do this. It's been a while since I've done this boss fight. I would like him to cool his jets here. I remember. This could do it if I can catch up to him in time. Oh, come on, really? That's not cool. All right, fourth time's a charm. Hopefully I can just my last life. Because I am certainly not getting any from this. This fight is not really that particularly difficult. I'm just struggling because I'm being a... Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's what I get. Yeah, let's save our progress. Okay. We'll jump back. We'll jump back into the game. Oh, goodness gracious. We're, ha we're having a good time, everybody. We're having a good time. I will very graciously accept... These five one-ups. I should have... Should have gotten them before. I don't know if I was offered them or not, but it seems like I might need them with how I'm playing so far. Being an absolute goober. We're gonna rush back over to the bedroom, hop out of bed and do some work. Hopefully Major Burrows can stop being a major pain in my behind. All right, back to it. Let's take this guy down on our first try. Fingers crossed. Cross your fingers, cross your toes. 
Don't cross the wires. Crisscross applesauce. For some reason, I don't know why I just thought of apple. Uh, not applesauce. Not thinking of applesauce. I was thinking of uh, waffle fries. Because I know some people call them criss cut fries, which is wrong because they're not. They're waffle fries, and I will die on that hill. So, also, uh, waffle fries, a very elite way to consume potatoes. If you don't like waffle fries, I don't know, friendship might be a little tough to come by with me, so. Just keep that in mind when you're trying to make my acquaintance. Come here. Come here. Come on. There we go. You have to make sure you don't get too close to him because his hitbox is kind of big. He is kind of big. He's a big boy. Whoa. Okay. He's coming in hot. Oop. Make sure you stay away from him. All right. So he'll jump back down. Once he gets super hopping mad, then you can go get him. There we go. First try. Ever. All those other ones were just practice tutorial runs to show you um, the various ways to improperly do this one, so. That one was for your health. You're what? You guys are welcome. All right. So that's two out of the three we're getting today. Nice having a little bit of less pressure trying to gather up all these heckin' stars. So there's that. Feels pretty good. Let's just go ahead and save. You never know what's gonna happen. See what's left. I think we might be done with the bedroom, actually. Look at that, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen. That is... an incredible amount of success we're having so far. Also, I think I did the math very wrong anyway, because I think that there are six domes, and I was doing the math as if there were five. Let me go check that real quick. Trust me, I'm no math magician, so bear with me. I think that that is actually the case. One, two, three. Yep, there are six. I am a ding-dong. But anyway, we are uh, four-sixths of the way done. I don't know what that fraction is off the top of my head. Four, six, two thirds, sixty, six. I don't. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're doing good. Let's just say that. That's how. Yep, we're doing good. Let's go ahead and have our Luma buddy bring up the comments again, because for some reason it doesn't want to have them keep popping up. I don't. I don't get why it does that. So sometimes you got to kind of force the hand of the game to pop the purple star, purple coin comments back as much as I would love to do them. Hooray! Okay, so now we have an engine room one and a garden one. I don't know which is which. I actually, I know which one I don't want to do based on what my thought process is going. What's the garden one? Melty Molten. I thought I did this one already. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Oh, Gold Leaf Galaxy. That doesn't sound too bad, actually. Let's go do the Gold Leaf Galaxy one. That'll that'll tie this episode up. Put a nice little bow in it. Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Apparently my depth perception is off. That's great. I will zip over here. And we're gonna go back on up. We're having fun, everybody. We're having a good time, a good heckin' time. That's what this is all about. You're not having a good time. You're doing it wrong. This channel is all about good times, good vibes, good vibes only. Nope. Please stop. Thank you. Alright, I think this is where it was. Could be wrong. If it is, then I'll have to go back and check it out again. Nope. We're gonna do this purple coin mission. This one's a little bit more chill. I could have sworn, though, that the Melty Molten one I did already. Maybe I didn't. It's very strange, though. I feel like I did. I think I did the Daredevil comment of that one. It's got a purple coin one, too, which is super fun that they, you know, have one for both of that mission, which I don't have PTSD from at all. Okay. So this one I don't remember being terribly difficult. Oh, but it is timed, it sounds. That's great. All right. We have three and a half minutes to 
get ourselves some some very arborous purple coins here. I don't remember if this one has exactly 100 or not. I would assume so. That would make sense. And I think that the, the nice part about this one is the coins are leading to... Excuse me. Are leading to the eventual star at the end, which is good. So you don't have to try to fight and go back. So yeah, another one of these. We love it. I'm just glad they don't try to like hide the coins. I think this one's more about, you know, can you be agile enough to collect all the coins in the time limit rather than can you collect all the coins in very inconspicuous locations that people wouldn't think to look on platforms that may or may not be scalable, etc. This isn't too bad, but I do like the kind of sped up theme that they have going here. This is the one they use in Gusty Garden. I don't know what this is called, but it's kind of like a, a little remix of it. Ru -ru -ru remix. That's kind of fun, right? Everybody loves a good remix. Especially Sprite Remix. Anybody remember that? Went to the store the other day, and I've... This is not a new phenomenon, so don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to be... I'm not trying to wax poetic and be too nostalgic here, but one of the things that I did enjoy as a kid was a big fan of Sprite Remix. If you've ever had that, it's a soda from the early 2000s. Pretty delicious. It's a very fruity Sprite. Kind of like Tropical Punch flavored. And I saw that they do have... Thank you. Actually, it's kind of a nice checkpoint. The game would... Excuse me. I'd like to jump up this. Thank you! Anyway, Sprite Remix. They do have Tropical Sprite, which I think is similar. Also a big fan of it. Don't forget this coin here. That's a little, a little sneaky snake. The game to put that there. But yeah, they. Uh, I saw that they had... Oh, well... If I could recover fast enough, maybe I'll be able to make it still. That's unfortunate. But yeah, they had uh, some Sprite Remix at the store. It was Tropical Sprite, once again. But tastes very similar. Comes in bottles. I don't think they put it in cans anymore, but you can pick that up at a, at a gas station near you, I'm assuming. If you can, I'm sorry for getting your hopes up. But it is very good. Also, if you go to one of those restaurants that has one of those, like, uh, customize your own Coke things, if you take Sprite and then you put, uh, like, cherry or strawberry flavoring in it, it's kind of similar to that. Maybe if you do both, I, I, I would just play around with it. All right, so we have 30 seconds here to see if we can finish this off. Maybe. We're going to be cutting it close if I don't <laughs> keep running into the geometry of the stage. Here we go. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I think we can do it. Oh, that's not good. If we could pick up a coin in the process of being hurt, that'd be great. So here we go. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Have to also leave time to get the star. So. Oh boy. We got five seconds to jump to the middle of this platform. Can we do it? Hopefully. Oh my goodness. That is okay. That is pure insanity. I was right there. Put that on your fail compilations. That's dumb. I mean, I guess... Whatever. I, that's self-inflicted, but... Uh, well, guys, we're at it again. Just pretend this is the first time you're watching it. Wipe your brain. Men in Black style. If you have one of those little laser things, put it in your... in your eyeballs. Wipe your memory. Oh, goodness. That is, uh, embarrassing, to say the least. But it's okay. So we're doing great. It is kind of nice, though, that the game is willing to kind of give you checkpoints based on how many coins you're supposed to have. I think that's a nice touch with the little bees saying, hey, you should have 70, you should have 90. Because at that point, it's kind of too late to go back in some of these cases. It's not like the game is really hiding them. Most of these coins are really out in the open, this time around at least, but in general, it is a pain in the butt if you get, you know, most of the way through this and you wind up missing a coin or two for some reason. Thankfully, like I said, coins in this one are basically, you know, what you see is what you get kind of thing. 
There is that one hidden one inside the door frame, which I think is a little sneaky, but for the most part, it's not it's not too bad. I mean, if you're you know competent, you won't have any trouble with this one. But that was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> I've had some pretty embarrassing fails throughout this Let's Play, which I think is great because it shows how human I am. One of the things that I remember I used to do when I would make Let's Plays a while ago on my old channel is I was very de determined to produce content that seemed flawless. And I don't mean that in this way of like speedrunning excellency, but I was just too, you know, determined to make content where until I got the recording to be a certain way, I would just re-record and re-record. And the problem with that is that back then when I was making content, um, I didn't really rehearse things. So I guess the re-records were essentially the rehearsals but I was still doing the live commentary the entire way. So by the time I did like four or five recordings in a row where I was trying to just get it right, I don't know, you could probably like hear the frustration and like anguish in my voice. So then the recording doesn't wind up being as good as it could have been. Cause it's not the first time I'm experiencing it. It's like the 10th time I'm experiencing it. All right, so this is going by much better. Having a minute to get this last crop of coins is much better than having 30 seconds. Although, in fairness, I think the game should have given that to me. I think I touched the star. I'm going to call this a bamboozle. I guess I could have done it in the opposite order if I would have maybe gone back to grab the two here and then looped around and grabbed the one on top of the platform, I would have had it. But hey, life is what you make it. Home is where you make it. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the final star of today. This episode wound up being a little bit longer than I intended. Only because I goofed a lot, but hey, you got a full-length episode today. For those of you who are a little disappointed maybe by the truncated episode of last time. Well, that's another purple coin mission in the bank. That's 112, ladies and gentlemen. We've got eight more to go, three of which will be done in green star fashion. So that means that we're coming up on the end. The very end, ladies and gentlemen. We've got five more regular starts to do. One episode's going to have three, the other one's going to have two, and then we're going to do the final with the green stars. So that's kind of the plan going forward. I will save, so I don't have to do that again, that monstrosity. But uh, yeah, that was a decent amount of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I've been D-Mike. Thanks for watching another episode of Super Mario Galaxy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.